Avid launched and previewed a whole host of innovations within Media Central at the NEB trade show in Las Vegas. So let's dive in and take a look. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at is in the editing timeline. Now, um, editing, of course, is very important for Avid. In recent times, we've introduced audio waveforms into the editing in Media Central Cloud UX. And now we're adding the addition of dip to color. So as you can see here, what I can do is go to a transition effect and select as an effect, either a dissolve or in this case, a dip to color. That then brings up the color palette. I can, of course, choose any colors that I want to, to have. Um, or here you can see I've got some defaults, which are white and black. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add in a white flash. And there you can see I've added the effect. It is a slightly different icon to the dissolve effect that you can add in here. I've got some capabilities to edit that so I can extend it. I can change the location of it. So I can you know, have it starting at cut, ending at cut, for example. I could, of course, just grab the end and I could expand that out as well. So um, adding in the addition of dip to color uh, is something that we previewed at the Las Vegas show um, for NAB. All right, let's move on now and look at some of the AI innovations. Now, Avid has had AI in Media Central for some time with the use of analytics services from Microsoft and AWS. But what we have previewed as a tech preview in recent times has been the addition of what's called the recommendation engine and the summary engine. And what we showed at the NAB show was some additions to that. So this one here is recommendations in the timeline. So here I have a voiceover that's laid in the timeline. It's got some markers in it for the actual text. And I've generated that through the AI transcription engine. But what I can do now is I can mark a region in the timeline and then Avid Ada, which is our framework for building all of our AI solutions, can now recommend to me footage I could use for this. So as you can see, the story is about a fire in Glasgow, and that's the footage that's being recommended to me. Now, this is in addition to what we previewed at the IBC show last year, where I could be writing a script and the system could automatically send content recommendations. Now, bear in mind at Avid, we very much see us as a creative company, and this is the co-pilot concept where the system can offer me suggestions, but the person who's actually doing the editing, the journalist or the editor, is very much in charge of what actually gets put into the timeline itself. The next thing is we're trying to help uh, journalists who are, of course, having to cope with uh, an amazing amount of information which comes into them by helping them identify trending stories. So what I can see here in this proof of concept is the bubbles represent different trending stories. The bigger the bubble, the more stories that exist within my newsroom system in wires or in text stories related to what's going on. If I select one of the bubbles, in this case sport, I get presented with all the sport trending stories with a percentage score for how highly they match what I'm actually searching. And bear in mind, this is not really search. This is the system automatically offering us stuff. So it's about using con semantic content technologies to allow us to do this. But of course, if I then double click on a story, it takes me directly to that story in the wire. And I could, of course, then work from there. So I could take that story, put it directly into a rundown, or I could copy and paste the text. And I could carry on to work. Now, again, these are these last two um, options for recommendation engine um, and for the trending stories. They're proof of concept. So we're interested in your feedback and what you think of these. Next thing to show you is, again, in Media Central Cloud UX is Teams integration. Now, this has been a big request for some time that customers want to integrate their enterprise messaging systems um, in Media Central Cloud UX. And in uh, NEB, we showed Teams integration. So here you can see I can log into Teams and it's just Teams. So I can then have conversations with any of my colleagues using Teams directly in Media Central Cloud UX. Again, this is shown as a preview. Some other things that were also shown at the NEB show were some new capabilities in the Rundown app. Now, the Rundown app in Media Central Cloud UX is a view into my iNews running orders. And here I've got some additional timing information that I can now display where I can do timing of the show, back time, cum time. I'd also get timing information in the Rundown itself. I can also print off stories as well. So these are all new capabilities that have recently been added into the Rundown app in Media Central Cloud UX. And the final thing to talk about is Avid Stream.io. Now, Avid Stream.io is our next generation ingest and playout solution launched um, in uh, last year and proving very, very popular. And so what was shown at the trade show was the ability to now have two, four or eight channels 
all fully configurable for ingest and playout, all including proxy, HD, and now all the way to UHD as well, with additional capabilities about on-screen display, playlists, and additional uh, redundancy configurations as well. So Avid Stream IO, Media Central Cloud UX, great combination, and one of the major things that were shown at the NEB trade show in Las Vegas.